that explosive R. Kelly interview, breaking his silence for the first time since being charged with sexual abuse. Kelly broke down, called the accusations lies. Alex Perez is in Chicago with the story. And Alex, Kelly could be facing serious danger, jail time. Hey, good morning, George. That's right. He's out on bail and has pleaded not guilty to the charges against him. He says what's happening to him could happen to any celebrity. The disgraced singer R. Kelly is addressing allegations against him. In a heated interview, he emphatically rejected claims of sexual misconduct against minors and charges of aggravated sexual abuse. I sit here and say this. I had two cases back then that I said in the beginning of the interview that I would not talk about because of my ongoing case now. Okay, right? okay. okay. Fair enough. But okay. I will tell you this. People are going back to my past, okay? That's exactly what they're doing. They're going back to the past, and they're trying to add all of this stuff now to that, to make all of the stuff that's going on now feels real to people. But the past is relevant with you with underage girls. Absolutely no, it's not. Why? Because, for one, I beat my case. When you beat something, you, you quitted, beat it. You were quitted. We can't double jeopardy me like that. You can't, mm -hmm. It's not fair. It's mm -hmm. not fair to nobody. When you beat your case, you beat your case. The 52-year-old songwriter behind mega hits like I Believe I Can Fly and Remix to Ignition telling CBS News the charges against him are nothing more than rumors. Not true. Whether they're old rumors, new rumors, Why would they future say this rumors, about you? not true. His representative telling ABC News overnight if they believe that he's a predator and a monster and that he's holding women high hostage, they can come kick the doors in and come get him. But they know he's not a sexual predator. Kelly was arrested late last month on 10 counts of aggravated sexual abuse. Denying the claims, Kelly at one point in the interview stands and begins ranting towards others in the room. Y'all killing me with this I can't help 30 years of my career. Robert. 30 years of my career. Y'all trying to kill me. You killing me, man! This is not about music! I'm trying to have a relationship with my kids, and I can't do it! Y'all just don't want to believe the truth! You don't want to believe it! Kelly's arrest uh, coming on the heels of Lifetime's uh, six-hour tell-all docuseries, Surviving R. Kelly, painting a portrait of a man who holds women captive and controls them, you claims Kelly rejects even addressing the camera directly to deny. Well, I'm, I'm, How stupid would it never be for anybody. R. Kelly, with all I've been through in my way, way past, to hold somebody let alone four, five, six, fifty, you said. What, how stupid would I be to do that? I didn't say you That's were holding... That's stupid, guys. I didn't... Is this camera on me? Yes, it's on. That's stupid. Use your common sense. Don't forget the blogs. Forget how you feel about me. Hate me if you want to. Love me if you want. But just use your common sense. How stupid would it be for me to, with my crazy past and what I've been through, Oh, right now, I just think I need to be a monster and hold girls against their will, chain them up in my basement, and, and don't let them eat and don't let them out unless they need some shoes down the street from their uncle. Robert, Stop it. Y'all uh, quit playing. Quit okay. playing. Robert. I didn't do this stuff. This is not me, y'all. I'm fighting for my life. And Kelly has other legal troubles, too. He's due back in court on a separate, unrelated child support case late this afternoon. George? Okay, Alex. Wow. Um, yeah. Good for Gail to keep her composure I through mean, all that. I was going to say that. To keep her composure as she did, and she kept on with the questioning team, very pointed with her questions to him, but her composure was something. It really was. Sunny Hostin is here, our senior legal correspondent. Uh, uh, so much unusual yeah. uh, <laughs> about that interview. One of them that he's sitting down for it at all as a defendant. Really remarkable. I mean, that old adage, anything that you say can and will be held against you in a court of law, it does happen. And this type of video will be front and center if this goes to trial. It never ends well for a defendant. I mean, remember Bill Cosby's deposition was used against him at trial. Remember that um, video of, um, of Jerry Sandusky and oh, Bob, right, right, Bob right. Costas? Yeah. That was used front and center. And that's why defense attorneys never allow this. I kept on thinking, where mm. is his defense attorney and why was this allowed? This was a disaster for Robert Kelly. It's, it's like he went rogue and yeah. like he's so narcissistic 
basic that he thought he could just um, convince yeah. people. Okay, he kept bringing up, and he, unfortunately he kept using the phrase, beat my case, beat the case, beat the case. Yeah. He was talking about the child pornography in 2008. That's, right. that, there's no, that's not it's relevant here. It's completely irrelevant. Um, you, you know, we do have double jeopardy, and so it's not going to be brought up at trial, I don't think, unless his team yeah. brings it up. And these are completely new charges, not by one, not by two, not by three, but by four different women, three of them who alleged that they were under the age of 16 when this happened. And, and and, and that's really, really significant. And he denies that further on in the interview. Again, this video will be front and center. If the jury sees this and they don't believe him, they have his lying or their, their perception of his lying right on tape. This could be one piece of evidence. Prosecutors also say they have DNA evidence, other forms of evidence. You're a former prosecutor yeah. as well. How strong is their case? This is an extremely strong case. I mean, typically in sexual assault cases, you, you have only the testimony of the, the victim. Perhaps you have have some DNA cases, uh, some DNA evidence, you do not have videotape evidence. This case, if it indeed has videotape evidence, is going to be very, very difficult to defend. And he's mm. facing 10 counts of sexual, um, uh, aggravated sexual abuse, possibly 70 years in prison. Yeah. Court date's March 22nd, so what's next for him? I think we'll see this case proceed to trial, in my opinion. I mean, any type of plea deal would have to include sexual offender registry um, and would have to include jail time. I mean, this is something that's been going on for a very long time. I think everyone on the planet it has seen the documentary. documentary yeah. Yeah. There's, you know, you have four now new alleged victims. There's just no way any sex crimes prosecutor would offer a plea deal without jail time. And there, I, Robert Kelly is denying all the allegations. So I think we, we may see a trial here. Robert, Robert, Robert. Robert, Robert, Robert. I mean, mm. Gail King, kudos yeah. to her. She seemed completely, completely unbothered and she yeah. did her job. She did. I know you're going to be talking about this on The View. Yes, we will. Right. 11 o'clock today. Right. Thanks for being here with us. Thanks. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.